This episode is called Two Brothers. And now that could most definitely refer to Aaron and Zeke, which I'm pretty sure everyone's assuming. It could most definitely refer to uh, Falco and Colt as well. There's just a lot of different storylines and a lot of different things that are all building up. And I really ultimately feel like we're at the peak, the climax of Attack on Titan. And the multi, what, eight-year journey now the show's been on, something like that? Like, it's it feels so good to be here. Like, oh my god. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Attack on Titan, Season 4, or the final season, Episode 19, like I said, called Two Brothers. Last episode, we ended off on the ultimate cliffhanger, with Eren trying desperately to crawl towards a very seriously injured Zeke. Meanwhile, Colt and Falco are running towards Zeke to see if they can stop the screen. So, like, I have no idea what's going on. Like, like I said in the pre-intro, this is like the peak, the pinnacle. Everything has built up to now. The world it can change at any moment. Our characters may die, may live. I don't know. I'm expecting the worst. I say expect the worst so I don't be disappointed, but <laughs> shouts out to the new Spider-Man movie. Fantastic. But I say we, I got to find out what happens. I have to. I cannot wait any longer. But don't forget, if you guys want to watch the full length of this episode, it's a really good time or the early access and full length of any of the other shows I'm watching. Check out that Patreon links are in the description down below for you guys. Like always, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok and Twitter. All the Dapper Darius much appreciated y'all let's hop into this attack on titan season four uh episode 19 two brothers let's do this all right this is it we are nearing the end of attack on titan this feels crazy and down goes wonder boy that was a good shot magath i can't lie i can't lie oh my god i'm so nervous porco is doing anything in his power Oh, oh, okay, he's still alive. I was about to say, that's right on the nape. How much is he gonna beat on the nape? Is this where Porco dies? Okay, that was a good shot. Okay, one thing I'll give Flock. I don't, I, I've never been the biggest fan of Flock, but I'll give it to him that he's on the front lines doing what he thinks is necessary to protect Aaron. I'll respect that from him. Like, this is not pretty on either side. Oh my god, Porco got his his shit caved in. Reiner's looking pretty beat up. Is he gonna see the memory of his brother Marcel? Two brothers, those are another two brothers. Oh my god. That's such a big thing for Porco as well. If he finds any bit of strength, he said he can scream. Oh, no, no, no. We are right here at this pivotal time. He's on the verge. I mean, deep down. That's somewhat of a compromise. I'll take that. Deep down, Zeke, in his own twisted way, is doing what he thinks is best for the Eldians to stop their suffering. So I truthfully am agreeing with Colt in that he does care for the Eldians and would not want, if possible and preferably, would not want Falco to be involved and or killed by turning into a Titan. So... I mean, that's a fair compromise, but we have no time to wait at all, so I highly doubt we can wait until he's out of range. What is the range? He was in the forest super far away, and when he screamed in, against Levi and turned all those titans against Levi, we still felt it over here. They were like, whoa, what was that, you know? So it's like, I respect it, and I get it, but oh, this is such a fuck situation, and I really like the two brothers. I didn't even think of Porco and Marcel, and you have you have them. You have these two, and Aaron said wait, which gives me a little bit more accreditation to Armin's theory, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Only too well. And then it shows the two other brothers, Porco and Aaron.
Are you kidding me? Oh, he's staying with him till the very end. I appreciate Colt. I'm so mad. I love Pixie so much. He knows he accepted. He closed his eyes. I'm so mad. The entire show. Damn near every character we've ever known in this show. Oh my. Oh my god. I need a moment. There was the slightest bit of hesitation, but the fact that he said, what a shame, and then it... Me I am so upset right now. Niall, Pixies, Falco, everyone, in, in terms of the higher up. I mean, like, we didn't know a lot of them. We still have our main, main characters, but so many side characters. Like, literally so many. It's, oh, my God. And now it feels like we're going back to Attack on Titan Season 1. As they play this song, are you kidding me? Nah, nah, Zeke, nah, nah. Zeke's like saying woo for me right now. No, me and my homies hate Zeke. All he wanted to do was protect his brother and be with his brother till the end. I am so, I don't think you guys understand how upset I am right now. You guys probably do, but. He's trying to get the armor titan. If Zeke was hell, wasn't dead before, that could have damn near confirmed it. I'm sure of it. Crisis averted. I'm so upset right now and so sad and so hyped and so bricked up at the same time with this book. That was... Oh, Mikasa, oh my... This is so sick. There's no way. There is no way. He stopped. He was- Bro, Reiner's been this close to dying in this show. 47. Porco? I mean, that's true, but you really can not That's his <laughs> That was a 500 IQ play by Aaron. What the fuck? But Porco's dead. Falco's gonna be come back alive. Did Zeke do the fucking peak play? He did do the peak play. Gabby, 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 Gabby. This is the craziest episode of Attack on Titan of all time. Cra there's, there's. There's l I feel like after this episode, we're only halfway through as well. Oh my god, just that rough. Oh my god, we're only halfway through. Oh my god, but I feel like after this, I need to contemplate life, drink a thing of tea, and meditate in the backyard for like three hours at least. Oh my god, this fucking show, this episode. Oh my god i don't know what to say i i it's very rare that i'm shocked to the point where i'm literally speechless awestruck you know how many memes there are gonna be of gabby with like some sort of halo sound headshot kill him in jaro and fuck oh my god Oh my god, I, oh my god, that's all I can say. That's literally all I can say. 
Look at the, oh my God, these shots, the frozen in time, 3D shots of the chaos that's literally going around right now. Look at this shot. I've never seen such, this is the most amazing frozen in time anime shot I've ever seen in my life. He caught, oh, oh my God. Can he do it with his head still? I feel like I'm on fucking acid. What am I seeing? All these memories, all these flashbacks. This is it. We're here. The weight? What are we talking about? Before he officially died, yeah, the contact was made. And so what does that mean? We're here in this parallel convergence distant plane. Is that the girl? The original Ymir who made the deal with the devil? This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in anime history. Because of his royal blood. He's really, like, that's crazy that the vow is that strong. To fulfill my, Mr. Cassaver, and your dream, please save the world. This is literally the climax of Attack on Titan right here. There's no way he pulls a What are we gonna actually do? This man's entire life, he's so heartbroken right now. Armin gets a hundred fucking points from me, that man was right! What is he gonna actually tell Ymir though? Did he play him the whole time? Wait, wait. So, and what we thought Eren would have the free power because he is not tied to the first king's vow, renouncing the war, it's now Zeke, which is Probably the worst case scenario past Eren. There could be no one worse worse than Eren except Zeke. And so now he has unlimited control of whatever he wants in here. Because he has royal blood and whatever he wills will happen. No more than the key, just like the key on his neck the whole time. And then he played him the whole time. What does that mean? I'll fix you. What does that mean? Undoubtedly, this episode was the greatest episode of Attack on Titan ever. I think this up there with like episodes, what was it, 16, 17, 18, like that of season three. You guys know what I'm talking about. All those, this is right up there with peak Attack on Titan. Oh my God. From everything to the warfare to Reiner and Eren and Porco even, and then Reiner touching Porco, trying to give him the strength, to seeing the memories of Porco and Marcel, to seeing how much that upset him. And, and he was right the entire time, and he felt like 
it's Reiner's fault his brother died and he's not gonna die for nothing so he brought Falco back and Falco but if we go back to that it was fucking Falco and Colt another two brothers who tried to send and Zeke was like if anyone's gonna know the pain of a brotherly conflict like this it's gonna be me and I was like yes you know you're right Zeke and then he was like it's a shame and I was like are you fucking serious Zeke and he was like ah! and the, oh my god that it all went downhill from there I cannot believe he did that they were sniping oh that shot was really good for maggoth and if he hadn't pulled the peak plan that would have literally killed him i feel like if he hadn't like already i feel like he was already maneuver maneuvering himself out of there to do, to, to do that play but gabby being as conflicted as she was pulling that shot and doing everything like oh my god and then it just got weird and then i was tripping on lsd for the rest of the episode like and then colt died too from the explosion from falco nile died pixies died all of the upper Marley. Oh my God. Oh, and then I, I thought we lost Falco. I that's what really most upset me. I can't lie to you. And then Porco did what he did. And now uh, Falco is going to be the jaw Titan. This is going to be crazy. And then after Gabby shot Aaron's head off, but we had the flashback of everything with Zeke. And then he caught Zeke caught Aaron's head. And that was the undying connection. Like before Aaron died, they made that connect, and, and he was able to rebuild his body and save him in that. Like, but years flashed by, but it wasn't because everything happens in an instant there. And he having the connection, the key Aaron to having using the power of the Founding Titan without being tied to the vow renouncing war gave him godlike powers in this. <laughs> He faked, that was so smart how he faked himself up with the chains to discover Aaron's true feelings. I was so hyped. I was like, Aaron's going to do something. Yes, he was on Armin's, but then no, Zeke. Oh my, this show is just twist after twist after twist. It's crazy. And he said, um, Ymir, something along the lines of Ymir being the founding titan being the founder has no free will of her own so she just wanders aimlessly throughout this and believes that anyone with royal blood are her, are her masters and obeys them so that's why she walked right past to Eren because he has no royal blood and went right to zeke which is insane that's and then he captured him and he's like i'm gonna fix you it'll be all i'm gonna change the world starting with you so is Zeke going to euthanize? Is the plan going to go through? Is he going to do the rumbling? Is he going to do this, that, and the other? Oh my god. This fucking show. You know what's so funny? My friends are busy right now. My friends, because I always react to it, and then I watch it with them later, see their reactions. My friends are busy right now, and I usually text them like a little, like a one sentence like review. Oh, it was, it was really good character development, this, that, and the other. It was really good, this, that, and the other. They were like, all right, don't text us today how hype, how amazing, because every week so far, I've been like, oh my god, Attack on Titan was amazing, this, that, and the other. And they're like, don't text us, because we already know it's going to be amazing. I have to text them. I'm going to say this episode, you, <laughs> this, oh my god, I'm so hyped. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed that even a smidgen as much as I did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. I appreciate y'all immensely. Don't forget to uh, check out that Patreon if you guys want to watch the full length. Any of that. I, I gotta go fucking edit this, get this up on YouTube. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Peace.